Today on Living Hakuna. Oh my god, he just jumped! It's Naruto! Kind of people! I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. So we're going through the Exuma Sound because we got uh, one of our followers in Instagram. They told us this was the season to go out and get some mahi mahi through the sound. Uh -huh. So yeah, today is the perfect weather. Well, not perfect because we don't have any wind, but it's pretty flat. So we're gonna go through the sound and see if we catch a mahi mahi. So show us how you pull out your fishing gear. Come with me, people. Come. choose what you want to go with. Uh, so we're, we're trolling, so we're going with lures. And I caught two barracudas with the pink one, so I'm gonna go with the pink one. I don't want to catch a barracuda, but I don't know if with this one or this one. Just wisely. Well, this one has feathers. Let's go with this one. Yeah. So we're going with this one today, with the feathers one. And we're going with the blue. Why the blue? Because what I read is that Mahi Mahi go either for pink or blue. Okay. I'm gonna try to put some fish at the end of the hook. Might to make the it smell. smell. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know if it works or if it doesn't, but we're gonna But try. it's, yeah, we're gonna try it. It's the leftover from the snapper that we had the other day, right? Yes. He saved some for chum. To chum the water. Let's use it as bait. Baby. Putting the lure, my fishing rod. And there it goes. There it goes, your lure. Did you catch something? Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. Look at it, real in. Sure, I'll try. Is it hard? Ah, it's a solto. No. What is it? Mahi Mahi. Is it really? Live. Is it a mahi mahi? I don't know. Do you want it to be a mahi mahi? Dale, dale, cool. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to do it. Siéntate acá. Okay. Coge el laduro. Okay. Listo? Yeah. Go. Y mientras que lo bajas, recoge. Okay. Ay, wait, what am I doing? Are you sure there's something there? Sí, amor. Not too big, but something. Echo, quítate. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I feel it, I feel it. Is it pulling? It's Is it pulling? pulling? It's not pulling, it's pulling! Oh my god, it just jumped! It's not only a mommy! It jumped? Yeah, it jumped! It jumped! Oh my goodness, it jumped! Dale, 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 dale. Guys, I think we caught a mahi mahi. Finally, finally, finally. I think it's small though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a pulley. Hi! Hi, it jumped! I just don't stop. No. Yes. No. Please just don't stop. Puralo. See? No. What happened? What happened? Tell us what happened. Oh my god, it went away! Más rápido, amor. Porque cuando se hace slack en la línea ahí es donde se puede soltar. Now we're learning, you know. Where there's one mahi, there's several mahi. So hopefully oh we'll get another mahi mahi. I saw it. Oh man, I think it was totally my fault that we lost that mahi. I've just never even reeled anything in, so whatever. It's gonna be another one. And these guys, they're so noisy. Pero si entiendes que tienes que hacer, so you pull. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, but I don't want to do it again because then I might make a mistake again. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're learning, you know. Okay. 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 Okay.
So they told us to look up for birds. No, they didn't tell us. You researched a video. Oh, well, yeah. You've been researching all about fishing. Yes. So if you see birds or something in the sea, that means there's fish. And we found a pack of birds just going in the water. So I guess there's fish here. So we're going to do a cup. I don't know if a couple of passes. We're just passed by the birds and see if we catch anything. There's a lot of oh birds. man, they're diving into the water. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you on a mission to catch a monkey? Yes. <laughs> Guys, look at all these birds. Ooh. Birds everywhere, and he doesn't care about his sails. He's on a mission to chase the birds. No. You got it! Big one! It's a big big one. one! It's a big one! Oh my god! Oh. Is that No, no, no. Oh, no, see. You're kidding, we lost it again? Baby, you sure we lost it? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? We keep losing the fish. <laughs> Alejo wants to ask something to his subscribers. Yes, people. YouTube so, I don't get it why we're losing the fish. I mean, I don't know if it's because we slow down too much or do we have to keep going? Do you guys know? Let us know in the comment, in the comment section below. <laughs> you guys are like, you know, and who wants to be, be a millionaire? You're like, ask the public. You guys are ask the public. <laughs> you tell us what we need to do. Yes. <laughs> right? Guys, so we're going around in a circle to go again over the place where all the birds are. Alejo is changing the lure, the blue lure, to the other pink one because both times that we caught something, it was on the pink one. So we're going to change it to two pink ones. Increase the odds. Okay, what is it? What are you looking at? The birds. It's that way. There's birds around us. Get ready. It's happening right now. We're going through the spot, guys. This is hot Mahi Mahi territory. So, let's see. Got all the birds around us? Almost around us? Right in front of us? Going over it. <laughs> we got another one! Mika, we have two! We have two! Two on each side! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, so there's, they're together? Wait, so you have it? Because this one's pulling too. You got it? <laughs> Your first mahi mahi. I saw it jump, it was a mahi baby. You know? Hacia atrás. So how are you going to do this? We're gonna need the hook. What hook? It's just allá adelante. Okay. In the locker? Yeah. Hook. Yeah. Okay, he needs the hook. Let's go get the hook. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. We're learning things every day. Then a chicken winner. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd dream of this of this part. Get the hook ready. It's ready. I'm coming, baby. Yeah, it's que estos momentos, la verdad, como que se nos lleva a perder esta mierda y no va a escuchar. Okay. Recoge, recoge. Nada más, amor, sigo recogiendo. Eh, cuadra, 
adentro! No, suelta. ¡Shh! ¡Va adentro! El destornillador. ¿Estás seguro que es tan pequeño? No, amor. ¿Cómo que es tan pequeño? Puta, estoy tan pequeño. Si no está moviendo, es bien. ¡Wow! ¡Qué hermoso! ¡Magi, magi! ¿Tenemos que bleed it? The picture, people, with the fish. Is it really? Yes, it is. Okay, let me see. Cut the fish, people. Cut the mahi mahi. Okay. So I'm gonna fillet. Are you gonna fillet there? Yep. Okay. How are your fish? Man, it feels unreal. Does it? Yeah, so last time we made a huge mess all over the boat, so this time we're not making that mistake and we're just gonna do it here. Females, mahi mahis, they are smaller than males, and they don't have the head like, como así, como big head. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things that Alejo told me because I wasn't too excited about catching a mahi, and especially because you know, guys, I was vegetarian before I, we started sailing and fishing. Um, I. I I think the, the the I mean the only fish that I'm going to eat are the ones that we catch ourselves because just overall commercial fishing is just not sustainable at all. It damages the coral reefs and everything. But anyway, that's a topic for another day. Um, so what he told me is that this fish, baby, what is it that you told me that they, like they're the fastest growing in population? I don't know if it's uh, the fastest growing, but they grow to this size, they can grow in a year. This size, they can grow in a year. Uh -huh. And one female, they can do like one million eggs and they do that four times a year. Four so it's pretty, yeah. So they, yeah, so their population grows pretty fast and it's very, they have a really healthy, there's a really healthy population of mahi. And then one of the things that we learned from ta from our, from all the research that we did, where there's actually two things. The first one was that in order to, for you to humanely kill a fish, uh, for example, a mahi, because they're big and because they're like really jumpy and crazy, the first thing you do is like hit him with something in the head, in the brain, to knock him out. Um, that way they pretty much just black out and they're not suffering. You have to do that as soon as you take them out of the water because the fish suffers uh, when he's just outside of the water and he just obviously can't breathe and it's suffocating. But the cool thing about this practice is if you go to their website and you, you can actually find the fish that you're going to catch or planning on catching, um, and it tells you exactly, shows you a picture exactly where the brain is. And the second thing that we learned is that when you catch a mahi that is not big enough, uh, a mahi should be 26 inches or more for it to be legal for you to catch him. Otherwise, you're supposed to throw him back in the water and let him grow, and then you can catch him again, uh, right? And the purpose of that, obviously, is to keep the fishing of mahi sustainable and that way we don't bring again animals to extinction just like we always do with everything because that's what happens with us humans we kind of poop on everything right so 
what you do is when you're going to break in water on the back to the water, um, you don't want to touch the fish because if once you touch the fish, you remove like a, something like a little grease or something, a protection that they have on their skin. And then they start getting an infection. They basically grow some kind of infection bacteria. The fish is basically already dead and it's just shark bait. Needed. So what you want to do is buy a D hooker, which we're going to buy on Amazon. And what you do is just, you never have to touch the fish. You just grab the hook, takes it out of the fish. You never touched it. The it fish goes back in the water healthy and it can keep continue growing and you can fish him later on in the future when it's going to be sustainable for him to fish. Anyway, that's the story. How's the filet in here? Is it going? Man, it's going to be hard. Is it hard? Yes. Because it's really big? Yes. Is it harder than the other one? I think I'm getting better. Cut some mahi mahi people. <laughs> mahi, mahi. Is that what is this is that what you expected? Yes. Is that what you were hoping it would be? Yes, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Started jumping. <laughs> were you nervous? I was. Were you excited? I was. So is mahi tasty? Yes. It's a delicacy, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's a delicacy. Oh. That should be enough for like until we get back to Miami, right? Yeah, for sure. You think so? So we don't need to fish anymore. We do. We do? Yes. Why? Because fish can last like six months in the freezer. Why do you need supplies for six <laughs> months? You're so excited right here. We're gonna be we're sailors, we live on the water. Yeah, that's true. Wow beautiful fillet! So, I just made a deal with my husband, and we're gonna make it public so you can't break the deal. <laughs> I don't know what she's. It's about, about to get nasty. Now, can we tell the people what our what our agreement was? What agreement? Baby, don't you freaking not agree with my agreement because I'm telling you, you will never see a fish in your life again. See people. Look, that's the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner, no. <laughs> the vacuum cleaner. This is the chum. the chum. Why did you put the chum like that? Because we're going to freeze it into a little bowl so we can put it in the sea. Okay. So she's forcing me. I'm not forcing you. Yes. You have two options. Put it. Well, one option never catch a fish again. Or option two, I never eat red meat and I can catch fish. So she's forcing me. I'm not forcing him. Here's the thing. If you can kill it yourself with your bare hands and deal with that, okay, eat it. But would you not be if you wouldn't be willing to do it, then don't then don't eat it, right? It's only fair. He said he would be able to kill a fish. Obviously he already killed it. To kill a chicken, but not a cow or a pig. So I, he won't eat red meat from cow or like the white meat from the pig. So I'm trying to clean all the fillets. I'm trying to take all, all of this red no. thingy off. You're taking the red thing off? Yes. Oh. Uh, so I want to thank Andy. He wrote us on Instagram. And he gave us a couple of tips to catch some mahi mahi. So he told us where to go. And we followed everything that he said. And, and boom! Boom. We almost caught three mahi mahis too. Got away. And we are moving anchorages. We're in Norman's Key, where the plane is. And there, the wind is coming from there, from the east. So we're gonna move to the west side of the island so we are more covered. And it's not so roadie. Ank, Ank. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's not really good morning. It's more like like 11. It's like 11. It's like almost afternoon. So yeah, the idea is to move the boat, people. We're gonna make some water, wash them clothes, and be productive. And, and do some exercise. Hello, Captain. Hello, people.
lunch. Oh, we're okay, gonna okay, cook the fish I cut. Yes. What do you mean? <laughs> it was a, it's a, it was a team effort. There's no I in team people. <laughs> uh, we got it together. No, yes. It was a. No, there's no I in team baby. So we're going to make our mahi mahi. Yes. And my uncle gave me this recipe, and it was good. Really good. So we're gonna give it out to you guys. Are you ready? We got our fish here. Hello. Hello, fishy fishy. So we're going to, obviously we don't have that many things on the boat anymore because we don't have lemon. We don't have anything that's fresh. We don't have onions, anything like that. Gone, dead. What we have is canned, so we have to make it with whatever it is that we have on the boat. <laughs> this guy. Show so, that we're making water. Oh god. We're washing clothes. Plus we we have the rice maker. Oh my god. The rice cooker on. And we're there's only 386 watts coming out of Seriously, the Seriously, our because solar, our solar is, is like the bomb. bomb. Yes. The effing bomb because I can't curse. But it is totally the bomb. The bomb. So you see right now we only have 400 watts Boy, coming no. out and that's because of our solar power and we're running pretty much everything. Yeah. It's incredible. Thank we you. absolutely love this solar system. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so going back to my cooking skills, which let me tell you something. I have never cooked that good in my life, but I don't know, it's just coming to me, right? Yes. Since I mentioned we don't really have any fresh ingredients, we're gonna have to go with what we have right now. We have butter, uh, which we had like two frozen butters, so we have that. We have this minced garlic, and we have just regular salt, salt, and we have pepper, and we have oregano. So that's what we're gonna use. We're just going to throw some butter on. The, on our pan and just let it and just put some garlic on it and kind of like make a little what's that called like a little oil of garlic with butter and once we do that we'll add some oregano and that's about it and then we dip our fish so we're looking for a golden looking butter we don't want it to get like black because then it starts tasting bad so I actually left it for a little bit too long um you should leave it until it's golden not dark and but yeah that's what happens when you're unpatient like me so now what we do is we grab our fish and we just dip it there so let's just dip our fish here now i turned off the i turn off this because i don't want it to cook here so we just dip our fish here okay and basically we just flip it until it gets all off the little sauce here and then once we've done that we're just going to add a little bit of salt and we can add a little bit of pepper yeah I try. okay and once we've done that we can go to our barbecue and just put the fish on the barbecue just baby do you want to make some broccoli on it we still have a little bit of frozen broccoli that's all we have. and join me as we go to the barbecue Okay, so, so we already preheated the barbecue a little bit so the fish wouldn't sink to the barbecue. So now we're gonna throw some garlic and we're just going to let it make itself. Okay, so now we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. This recipe was actually best on the oven, but since we have the water maker, the washer, like all these things running, I didn't wanna turn on the oven, so oops. And then after we put the Parmesan cheese, we're just gonna throw in some breadcrumbs because obviously the Parmesan cheese is probably gonna make it stick. You want to do half and half on this one? No, baby. Yeah. You take the big one. 
and then we can split this one too. Okay, let's add some broccoli here. Mm. Man, really tasty. And the rice. Some rice. Woo, some rice with, what is that called? Green beans. Peas. Oh, peas. Okay, so how does it look? It smells delicious. Delicious, people. Taste it and let me know how good it is. What should I taste? I don't know, whatever you want to try. <laughs> guys, I think I'm becoming a chef. All right, this is where we leave you guys because we're gonna have some food and feast a little bit. Yes. See you later.